One for Mama. Oh, thank you. <laughs> and I bought a special one for you, sweetheart, to put in your scrapbook. Eh? Will you treasure that when you're older, Sarah? Actually, you know, it's not a bad photo in spite of Grandpa's stomach. You look very nice, ma'am. Oh, yeah. No, I don't. Not me. Anyway, who's going to notice me? It's Alfie's big day. Yeah, well, we'll be there cheering oh. you on. <laughs> yeah. What about me? You'll be at school. Oh, that's not fair. Everyone gets to go except me. Oh, well, you can take an afternoon off school, shall we, to goodness? What lessons have you got, Nicky? Nick. Double maths. Well, then you're not going. No, games. Nicky! Nick, here's games, I promise. I was thinking about something else. Oh, there you are, then. It won't hurt if he misses games. I think I'll make that decision, ma'am. Mm, yeah, I'm not interfering, though. I thought you were busy on that day. Oh. Yeah, well, I am, but, uh, well, they won't clash. And I can go to the hospital in the morning, then I'll go to Alf's doing the afternoon. Now, why are you going to the hospital? Giving evidence against her husband. All right, Martin, don't start. I'll tell you what, I'll take the afternoon now. But I don't have to go to the inauguration, do I? Oh, Nick. Right, I've left David's clothes on the bed for him and Sarah Louise can take care of herself, can't you, darling? Yeah. Hey, it'll be fun to see Grandad in his robe, won't it? Yeah. We don't have to leave till 11, so can you make sure they're ready for when I get back? Mm. Oh, and keep an eye on David, will you? I don't want him spilling stuff down his new clothes before we even get there. Right, well, I'm trying to fix it all. Let me sew in the washing up and trying to revise. Thanks, Martin. No, it's no problem. Martin, I've got to go to this inquiry. No, you don't. You could stay here and get the kids ready while I revise. It's bad enough I'm going to spend all afternoon watching relatives making fools of themselves without wasting all morning as well. Martin, we've been through all of this. Yeah, I know we've been through it all. I still think you're wrong. Gail, you do what you have to do. I'll have the kids ready by the time. All ready then. Hey, come on, David. I thought I told you to sit back and look at this book. We can all clean inside for your granddad's do now, don't we? Martin, where's my mum? We're gonna be late. Hey, now don't you start. Sorry. I was last to be cold and I got some traffic on my way home. Right, Just give, give me a, a couple of minutes to brush my hair. Never mind your hair. Come on, girl. It's gone 11. We're late already. I'm sorry, Martin. I got here as quick as I could. Oh, don't come complaining to me. It's not my ceremony. Come on, big fella. Give us your arm. Before we get in there. Let's get what sorted? You haven't even asked me what happened. I don't have to. I can tell you what happened. They asked you a couple of questions and then they decided you weren't relevant to the investigation. Am I right? Yes. Well, like I said, waste of time. Mr. and Mrs. Platt? Yes. Yeah. Your mother asked me to keep an eye out for you. Come on, I'll show you to your places. Bit of luck, you'll have missed the speeches. Hey, come on. Oh, do you know, I'd love to give you a lift home in the limo, but we've got another function. It's all right, ma'am. We've got the car. Oh, fine. Thanks for coming. I didn't think I was going to enjoy it at all, but I mean, it was smashing, wasn't it? Didn't Alfie look terrific? Hey, well, we're off then, Alf, so... All oh, right, man. Yeah, thanks for coming, anyway. Did you enjoy it? See you later. It? Yeah. We're done. Bye, 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 darling. Bye-bye, ma'am. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Do you know, Martin, we're very quiet. I hope they haven't had a round. Oh! Watch your lot back out. Hmm? Come in. Oh, but you've cracked some of them. You've got to tell me you can. What are you doing, woman? <laughs> Look, just leave it. Just leave it. Oh, help. <laughs> it happens every time he eats, he always drops some of them. We need to just get in the car. I want to get this stuff off and get my feet up for half an hour before we go on what to do tonight. So we're uh, home then, is it, Mrs. Roberts? Oh, yeah. Oh, Brian. I wonder if I could make a slight detail of it. Somebody told me I ended up in the street having a row of red toes left while my grandma went to the roses. <laughs> well, that's about right, yeah. <laughs> I am. Oh, I wish I'd gone now. <laughs> well, I'm glad to see somebody can still bring a smile to your face. Oh, uh, well, don't get carried away. Oh, come on, Martin. I did what I had to do. You didn't like it, but it's over now. So let's forget it, eh? Shall we uh, get a bottle of wine and curl up in front of the fire? Mm. It's not that simple, really, is it? Still got those exams to pass, remember? Excuse me. Can you fasten my coat? Oh, I'm working. I'm going to ask your mum. All right, darling, mummy will do it for you. I want Martin to do it. Yeah, but Daddy's working. Please. Oh, come on, I'm trying to work. 
trying to work since eight o'clock this morning and I've had nothing but can you butter me toes for me? Can you get the milk out of the fridge since I sat down? It's all right, Martin. Well, I've got exams surpassing three weeks. I think we're all aware of that. Oh, you wouldn't have thought so, would you? Well, I'm sorry, I can't row. Some of us have got proper work to do. Oh, yeah? And what's that supposed to mean? It means what happened to the Martin Platt who cared about people. I mean, he was only a hospital porter, but he was a good man. I thought he would have made a good nurse. What are you talking I'm about, talking Gail? I'm talking about Mandy Baker. I'm wondering what good your precious exam results are going to do her. Oh, well, thank you, Gail. Hey, thanks for your support and encouragement. Oh. You want to be a paper boy, eh? Oh, it's sad you to do. We never lie in. Well, I should ask Rita about Saturday mornings if I were you. I might be in for a nasty surprise. <laughs> right, I'm off. Right, OK. So what shall we do? Expect you when we see you. Yeah, tea time with any luck. OK. You don't want me to babysit all day, do you? Well, yeah, it looks like you're going to have to, because your mum's got a VAT to do. I've got an SA to write. Can't you do it tomorrow? Oh, yes, if you'd rather stay at home instead of going off for the day. I think we're doing it now for. It's only for this once. Martin will be upstairs if you need him. <sighs> well, how come all enough to babysit but to you and to do a paper round? Oh, don't start about that paper round this morning. I've had it up to here. Right, I'll see you. Yeah, okay, see right. you. You two, behave yeah. and do what Nikki tells you. Yeah. And you, cheer up. You never know, you might enjoy it. Might enjoy it for being paid. Well, I'll leave you to clear this bottle. Thanks. I've got to go to the hospital pick a book up. How long are you going to be? Not long. Hey, and don't let this lot out of your sight while I'm not here, OK? Or you'll be shot. Bye-bye, Daddy. Bye. 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 Dress aid on, then. Yep. And cook dinner. And oh. see. I don't deserve you, do I? Oh, no, no, no. Much too good for this, will me, aren't I? How's old misery got? Oh, great. Hey. You'll make it go. He's been a hero today, you know. I couldn't have done any of this without him. Well, I'm very pleased to hear it. David, you didn't have that top on this morning, did you? Oh, it got dirty, so I changed it. Oh? How did you manage that, eh? An oil can. An oil can? At Kim's garage. What were you doing there? Well, she wanted some sweets, so I went out. Without Martin? Well, he was out. When was this? Well, it was about dinner time. I had to go and get a book. Hey, and I told you to stay in. You told me not to let them out of my sight, and I didn't. You let them out of your sight when they picked up that oil can. Nicky, it could have been a knife. Oh, well, if you're that bothered, you shouldn't have left me alone with them in the first place, and should you? He's right. Well, I had to get this book, didn't I? Yeah, you should have wronged me. I'd have come home. Yeah, I was only gone half an hour. Yeah, and if anything had ever happened, it would have been our fault. Nicky has Kevin for the job. Is this true? Oh. Yeah. Is that why you went out? No, we were just passing, so I asked him. Anyway, if you'd let me have the paper and wouldn't have been talking to him, none of this would have even happened. Nicky, I don't want to hear another word about that blasted paper round, do you hear? Well, find me the trains if you don't want to work. Nicky! Ah! Oh. Well, he does have a point, Gail, you know. And it's very fortunate we only have an oil stain to worry about and not a missing finger. No. What was your essay on, anyway? Child care by any chance? Uh, no, psychology of adolescence, actually, Gail. <laughs> helping your children to grow up. I'm going to read it sometime. 